In today's video, we'll be working on a no AC call. So right now I'm here at the EVAP. And I can feel, this is my high, this is my low. I can feel my low side of the line is cold. That does indicate to me at this point that my condenser unit is running. So the ambient right now is about 110. But sometimes if the refrigerant is low, you won't be able to tell. I still like to do this kind of as a quick test. So I do know right now that refrigerant is running through my system. The condenser unit is running. You see this is my condenser unit and my line is starting to frost up. So here we're just doing a quick test. This is a non-contact voltage detector. You can see here that I do have voltage going to my furnace. Right now we're going to pull our panels and we're going to inspect our components as well as our blower. I'm going to unplug my system. If you don't have a receptacle plug-in, you may have a switch that controls your incoming voltage. I want to make sure that we have the necessary 120 volts to our system. When we're focusing on our blower, we want to focus primarily on three specific components. We want to focus on our relay, we want to focus on our capacitor, and we also want to focus on our blower motor. 80% of the time, one of these three components fail, and that's what causes issues. Now here, we're just going to throw this in. You can see this is the door switch, and somebody eliminated the door switch and basically just jump the system and cut the wires out. Now a lot of times, you can see that's broken. A lot of times this is your safety when you're working on your system. So you wanna make sure that you are properly working on your system safely. By doing this, this is what's gonna allow your system to run constantly and be energized. So you wanna make sure that you uh, resolve this problem to protect yourself while you're working on your system. On the inside you have two little inserts. We want to compress those inserts and then push it through or feed it through our panel. I did unplug or de-energize my system. Again you may have a switch that you will have to turn to the off position. Unsure you can always find the breaker that corresponds with that and turn that to the off position. Feed our wires in. I'm just going to gently compress those buttons or those inserts on the side and gently push in. Now that we've installed our door switch, this will allow us to properly work on the system safely. Now we're going to reapply the 120 volts. I'm just going to make sure that we have voltage. I'm going to engage my door switch. I can hear my condensing unit turn on. I can hear the refrigerant bubbling over. But my blower motor is not running. One trick that I like to do is turn the system off and just set my fan to on doing at this point by setting my thermostat to off and the fan to on is I'm isolating the system I'm no longer diagnosing the HVAC I'm just diagnosing the blower motor so right now you can see I do have voltage I'm gonna engage my switch and my blower motor is still not running one of the quick tests that we're gonna do right here is we're gonna be using our multimeter and what I'm going to do is I'm going to check the amperage going to my blower motor. If I have amperage going to my blower motor, that tells me at this point, the issue is either gonna be my capacitor or my blower motor. If I check for amperage and I do not have amperage, that's telling me that I have a problem somewhere at the relay. So right now I just wanna test my high speed. That's gonna be my black wire. Here I have my clamp meter, I have my multimeter set to amps. And what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna clip around it just around that one wire and I'm going to engage my door switch to see if we have amperage 
or voltage going to my blower. That tells me at this point, we're going to start here at the relay. If the relay doesn't send the signal to the blower to energize, then at that point, the blower motor will not run. Again, you want to be careful when you're working on electrical work. I have my door switch, it's not engaged. That should remove power to my system. So here I have my non-contact voltage detector. Even though we still have ensured that our door switch is not engaged and we replaced the one that was broken, you want to make sure that when you're working on this that you still treat it as if it does have electricity. I do recommend is purchasing one of these insulated screwdrivers. What I'm doing is I'm just slowly working in my screwdriver to see if we can pull out this relay. Here I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to engage my door switch and then I'm going to use my non-constant voltage detector just so you can see that we do have constant voltage once that switch is engaged. My door switch is engaged. Here I have a multimeter set to volts AC. One of my leads connects to my ground and I clamped it on. And here one of my leads is going in. I just want to show you that we do have voltage going through. So right now I'm going to manually engage my switch. And you can see that I do have 120 volts. At this point of our troubleshooting, we have yet to test the capacitor as well as the blower. And the reason is because we did take an amp draw and we were not getting amperage through so unless we get voltage or amperage going through our system we have no reason to test any of these components so right now we did check for voltage we do have incoming voltage and we're going to go ahead and replace our relay it's going to be our new relay and we're going to go ahead and install that if you look here you can see that there's four different inserts on this side and two at the bottom so you just want to make sure that when you install your relay that the two go to the bottom and that these four go here to the top. You just want to push in firmly and gently. Here's my multimeter. I'm going to set it to amperage and we're going to put it here over the high speed. At this point I do have incoming voltage thermostat is set to off and the fan is set to on and so right now we're going to engage our door switch and see if our blower motor will turn on and you can see here I do have amperage to disengage my switch going to set my thermostat to cool auto we're going to drop the ambient it's set to 74 I'm going to engage my door switch to see if the system turns on At this point, I'm going to remove power. I'm going to reassemble my panel, replace my filter, and then we're going to allow our system to run. Right now, I have my multimeter set to temperature Fahrenheit. This is my temp probe. Right now, it's picking up the ambient air at 90, 91 degrees. Right now, I put my temp probe to go inside the vent. This is going to allow for 
the multimeter to give me the reading of the air coming out of the vent. If this video was a help, if it was informational, please subscribe.